Hello and welcome everybody. I'm back. I'm super happy to be here with you. Welcome back subscribers. Happy New Year. Happy January. Happy 2021. We made it. I truly hope you have all had a great start to this year. Um, for those of you who knew that I moved, I'm settled into my new home. Still have some decorating to do, but for the most part, feel very peaceful, very grounded here. I've never been a homeowner before, so this is the first home that I've ever owned. Um, and obviously Miss Aura here is joining in. So this is gonna be your reading for February 1st through February 15th, 2021. Um, the energy is very, very different this year. We've got the full moon today happening in just a few hours, the full moon in Leo. So some of that energy will be um, in the readings. We've got Mercury moving retrograde this weekend. So I just feel the pace of this year is a lot faster. So I trust that you all are moving forward and, and still kind of shedding off everything that we went through in, in 2020. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world. Um, at this point, this is my full-time work for almost three years now. The link below uh, to my website has all the information for you on the distance energy healing and therapy. You can read about the benefits, definitely read the um, testimonials page, and you'll see I offer a really great 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I, I hope that's helpful for you in some way. Um, and that's it. We're going to get straight into the reading. So again, I'm so happy to be back. Thank you guys for all your love and your comments on, on the last couple videos that I posted of just some of the transition that I've been going through. Um, each of you truly means so much to me. So we are in this together. And that's enough out of me. Let's get into the readings. Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this was for February 1st through February 15th, 2021. Happy birthday to those of you who are celebrating. All right, I've already fully shuffled, so let's just create, get straight into it. So Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Aquarius starting out with three of swords and five of swords. I feel some of you are in the midst of dealing with mm, something from the past in regards to your heart. So something that was hurtful, something that was painful. Um, I'm just hearing that maybe when it happened at the time, you didn't properly give yourself the space or time to heal. You kind of just moved forward and pushed forward um, like we often do as humans. Um, but things are coming up for you to heal that now. Uh, we also, you know, we're in Aquarius. The sun is in Aquarius. We also have the new moon in Aquarius on the 11th, February 11th. Um, Mercury's moving retrograde. There's just a lot going on supporting you guys to really shed and let go and heal in the ways that you need to. So this five of swords is really speaking to... A message I feel with you and your own mind and mental energy to really acknowledge the thoughts and the patterns that you're having in your mind with that mental energy. Um, is it supportive? Is it positive? You know, I, I sometimes call it a checkup from the neck up. Where are your thoughts? What kind of energy are you putting into um, those thoughts and thinking and letting go of you know, things that maybe aren't positive or are more on focus, like worst case scenario instead of what it is that you really want. So there's a little bit, I'm feeling a, almost a battle between like the head and the heart here, Aquarius. And again, this is a positive thing. You are being supported and helped to be shown how to let go and heal some of the things uh, from your past. So you can truly move forward. I feel Aquarians, the, this is your year. There is so many planets in Aquarius. Um, we're in the Aquarian era of light. Um, this is your time to really heal and step up and step forward. So in order to do that, unfortunately, we do have to deal with some of the heavier, not so fun things from our past, but it's part of the healing process. You know, you have to feel it in order to really heal it. I've also got the Eight of Pentacles here, which I love this card because it's very much focused on the task at hand. It really asks us to quiet the mind and be very present and focus on what is right in front of us. 
instead of, you know, the mind wants to take us to the future, take us to the past, take us everywhere, but in the moment where really we can do the true work. So Aquarius, with this, what are the tasks at hand that you're dealing with or that you need to deal with or that you've maybe put off for a little while? Um, I think for some of you, this is going to have to do with cleaning up some of your relationships. Do you have friendships or romantic relationships or work relationships that seem a bit out of balance um, where you or the other person is giving more than is being received? You know, there's an out of balance there. there there's some tasks at hand within your relationships, I feel, that are being highlighted right now, Aquarius. That's just what's coming through for you. Um, again, it might be a little uncomfortable, but it's really necessary in order to grow. And this year is about growth and change and expansion. So it is not going to slow down for the whole year. So better to just embrace it. We're all feeling it. Yes. Okay. Next two cards out. Four of swords, five of pentacles. Time to stop giving into relationships that are um, disconnected or not fully there. Okay. The four of swords for me is kind of like a miniature hermit card. It's, it's um, taking time to really feel something versus think about it. It's letting yourself have a break from maybe the, the strong mental energy of wanting to solve it or fix it or be right or prove or, you know, all of those kind of more ego-driven energies. And again, I, I just, I'm feeling a strong message here for you guys in regards to your relationships. This is all relationships around you, family, friends, coworkers, romantic. But for those relationships that, there is a disconnect or people disconnect or you feel left out in the cold or you're leaving people out in the cold. None of that is really healthy. So there's something here for you to really look at. Five of Pentacles can be a physical disconnect, emotional disconnect, spiritual disconnect. Um, and with the Four of Swords, it's like it's just time to take a break from relationships that I feel are a bit exhausting for you. And if you take your energy from those exhausting relationships and you turn it around Aquarius and you start putting in it into you and what makes you feel good and your health and um, your positive views of the future and shifting that energy onto you, that is where you're going to grow. That is where you're going to feel so much lighter and some of this heaviness is really going to fade away. And I love that the next card out, it's like Page of Swords, this is you at your brand new beginning. Page of Swords is also the messenger card. So once you clear some of this maybe negativity or heaviness out of your life or let go of relationships that aren't supportive of you, the, the clarity is going to come through for you of what your next step is, of what is needed from you. Um, so you could also be dealing with another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, with this, you could have somebody brand new coming in for you. Once you clean this up, it may make space for that fresh energy, for a lighthearted connection um, that has communication, that is more balanced. So definitely a shift of energy there from the first card um, to that page of sword. It was just kind of like, boom, like closed a chapter. Now you're ready to move forward. Okay, interesting. Next up, we've got Knight of Wands. I feel, I don't feel this is a specific person. I feel this is the passion, desire, inspiration, um, being lit kind of within you. I feel there's going to be some, a shift within you that has you feeling excited about your path, your future, what you want to bring to the world, how you want to contribute, what is your soul work, what is, um, what is needed from you to feel really full of life and passion. So again, coming after this page of swords, this kind of new beginning, I feel you are going to get a burst of energy wanting to just launch you forward. So um, what I'm also feeling with that is be aware. You don't need to jump and take action. 
observe what are the feelings coming up? What is the passion? What is the inspiration? Um, you may just get flooded with so much at once that you, you feel a little overwhelmed with which direction to go in. So if, that's why I'm saying that the message here is to just observe it. It's going to feel so good to you to have that burst of excitement and inspiration um, to just be with it. And the right path, the right situations will continue to open up and some of them will just kind of um, fall away. That's kind of how, at least for me, the really, when I get these bursts of a lot of inspiration, not all of it will stick and that's okay. It's just part of the creative process. Um, I also feel like you're moving towards stability, Aquarius, with the King of Pentacles here and the Four of Wands. So this Four of Wands came out in the re uh, Libra reading as well. But look at this King of Pentacles, the way the, the gaze and the energy is so focused on this commitment, on this relationship. So I don't know, Aquarius, I feel like, well, you're letting go of the old and shifting your focus onto you and all the things that really make you happy. Somebody may come in for you. Um, could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or um, Taurus. I just, I feel their gaze very strong upon you. So I feel um, they may have a bit of a grounding energy for you, um, which could be really positive as well. So be aware of that. This could come in around the new moon, Aquarius, or around... Um, uh, Valentine's Day we have, you know, obviously on the 14th, so towards kind of the end of the reading or the energies that I'm tapping in here. So I would say coming back to the earlier cards is keep doing your work. Keep looking at where you can grow and shift and change and let go of the old, and especially within your relationships. Um, because once you stop giving and giving and giving to... Um, places that are not giving back, you know, relationships, friendships, family, etc. and you start giving that to you, that is where your power is going to come in. That's where your whole world is going to open up, Aquarius. Very, very important lesson for you here, and it's ending very beautifully with um, somebody who sees your beauty, who sees your worth, who sees um, the desire of commitment and a relationship and a future with you. Okay, um, I don't think I need to clarify. I feel like that was all very, very clear. Let me just pull one last card for you here. Okay, beautiful. We've got serenity here, and I immediately heard inner peace, inner serenity. So oh, I also feel quite relieved um, with what I'm feeling at the end of this reading, like you are definitely going to be letting go of some stuff in the first part of February Aquarius. So stay with it because it is going to guide you to more inner peace, more inner serenity, um, and just feeling that happy, um, good space from within. Okay. I love that you ended on that card. Um, I think that's it. I hope that resonates with you. If not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising, your Venus, your Jupiter, really any placement of Aquarius. Um, thank you for the comments below the video. I do read all of those. So thank you for taking the time to do that. And if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. Um, this is my full-time work and the link below to my website has all the information there for you. Um, you can read about the benefits, definitely read the testimonials page and take advantage. I have a 15% discount for first time energy clients or your very first distance energy session with me. So uh, you can take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. And I think that's it, Aquarius. So again, happy birthday to those of you who are celebrating. Happy new moon in Aquarius. This is your new moon. So really embrace it on the 11th um, and happy Valentine's Day. And I will see you guys back here for the second half of February readings. Take care.